there we go. Hands sitting up. I don't know if I've done this right. You'll figure it out. Still sitting up. Morning, Dill. Morning. Where are we today? Um, the Upper Karora. Yeah. Which one. is the river that we were on the other day, seeing some cracking big fish, but the water was that clear they seen us yep. first or even heard us first. So we're out for a bit of uh, revenge today. This is the stretch that I was on last night. Sorry, that's a bit messy. Um, and got those three cracking rainbows out of here last night. So I thought I'd bring the boys back this morning uh, just because I know it's a, a, a productive stretch. Uh, and it's really quite tricky when you just yep, mob up out of nowhere and to find nice a good stretch fish. of water it's um nice fish you know it would be nice to take advantage of actually knowing fish. this little piece i've only fished it oh, once yeah. obviously but it's, it's more than i've fished one, everywhere yeah. else around the place so we may as well get out and have a crack um, i'm going to be back on the fly again the boys are going to spin so we're going to be able to cover the water really well it probably suits both styles pretty well down here to be honest um there's there's a bit for everyone so we're gonna go and get into it and uh, see how we go. We've just had a massive breakfast down in the town of Tianyao. The rest of the crew are heading north to Queenstown. Uh, the boys and I are gonna make our way along this stretch of river here. We're on the upper crawler. We're gonna go and see if we can get ourselves a fish. Yep, fish on. Good job, buddy. Hold well on. That's it. Come down with him. Come down with him. Come down this way with him. Put him on the beach down here. That's it. Stay down of him. Just keep pressure on. Yep, it's all right. Take your time. Take your time. Don't need to rush him. He's a cracking big rainbow. Right, I just swing him now. Just swing him now. Billy probably jumped in. That's all right. I got him. Right, oh, wow! Well, biggest rainbow trout you've ever caught, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Hold well on. This, this is where the good water is, Dad. That's it. So I it, it hit that rock. Yep. In there. Yep. And then it flew down a little bit. Just into that back eddy there. Yep. And then I've winded it and then on. Yep, would have been just this side of that fast water. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, well done, Hen. Lift him up so we can see him. Oh, what a beautiful fish. On the Celta. Yep. Spinning across just on the edge of that faster water. It's a cracker, mate. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> well done. Well done. Time to get him back in. Lower him down so you don't drop him. All good? There he goes. Hold on. Yep, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Beautiful. I which one he took. Yeah, not a bad fish. Just holding me there in the current. Hey? Did you see? Did I see it? Yeah. No, no, I just blind casted him. Okay. Just gonna let him wear himself out there. Only on the four pound stuff again. 
On the fly. He took that quick too. Oh, he's not bad at all. He's take. What's he taking? And look. Yep. Remember what you said upstream there a little bit. <laughs> see that Billy's taking the bottom one that I put on. But see how on the back of that riffle. That's where they're going to sit. Got some go. Yeah, it's a rainbow, yeah. This is where a net comes in handy. Um, we probably could, yeah. Just try and guide him in. It's just taking me time. I don't want to lose him. Oh, that's a bit tippy. Come on, buddy. There he is, Hen. There he is, Hen. Whoa! I don't really want to get him down those riffles down there. Yeah. Push him up. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, just wait, just wait. There, there. Grab him up. Tail wrist. That's it, just push him up there. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, nice. Thanks, mate. Just drop him back down there again for me. And we'll get some uh, photo done. Hey, buddy. Hen, give me a tip on that last bow that he caught. Didn't you, bud? Yep. <laughs> Just going to sit that fish back in the shallows again. So, another nice one on the fly on the white grub. Uh, Henry said to me up there, the fish that he caught was on the... Um, they had a little white grub that he spat out, don't know whether it's a maggot or some sort of other larvae, but I'll put a little uh, white fly on the bottom and a tiny little bit of lead above it just to get it down a little bit and uh, there you go, match the hatch, eh? Alright, the upper career again down here at the mouth of the lake, same place I was last night. I've brought the kids down, Hen's got himself a nice rainbow on the celter and I've just picked up one there on the, uh, on the fly on a little sort of maggot imitation, a little white grub imitation. Um, that's because Henry, when his fish came up, Henry's uh, fish spat out a little white grub. So there's obviously something in there that they're eating. This fish has been torn apart by a treble hook before by the looks of it. My hook's going to pop out just like that. And he's ready to go. We'll just sit him in the current there. He's just going to sit there in the water for us for a minute. Don't forget the odd little hop, Dill. A little hop was working yesterday. Dropped him. Right in the shallows. You 
want Sil to do? Hi? Okay. Damn! That was a bigger one, that one. Bugger! So I've just been right down to the mouth again. And we're just making our way back up to these couple of productive pools. We've got two to the bank. Drop two. Um, Bill hasn't got any on the plastics this morning. But uh, Hen's got two takes on the Silter, and I've been bit twice on the fly. The second fish was a really good fish, uh, really heavy. And I've just seen the flanks of him roll just before he um, flipped the hook, and uh, he was a good one. So I wouldn't mind. Um, I wouldn't mind getting him to the bank for a closer look. But probably, probably sulking up here somewhere. Anyway, we'll go and put a fly back over again anyway. The boys are up here now. You can see them up there, up ahead. Already on the good run. Hopefully Dylan can get himself a fish today. That is the little one that's doing the damage this morning. I'm running him. Up above that one. Then we're on an indicator. Fish on! Hey, look at him go! Oh. <laughs> He's just fighting the current there, which is quite good. Not bad. Not as big as that last one. But... See how many casts I've done there? But that was the only one that was actually right. Like I mended early enough, and it was like it was in a good drift. Whoa. Come over this side, pal. Well, he's playing quite nice because he's. Oh, no. oh. oh. wow. <laughs> that would have been crazy. He was playing nice. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're around the rock, aren't we? Right. We're going downstream. He's not a monster, but he's a nice fish. Whoa. Whoa, look at him. Got some speed when they want it. Come on, we'll walk you over here.
Come on, pal. We're getting closer. Just got to take it nice and easy. No rush on him. Is that on the white one? Yep, sure is. <laughs> No, no, don't do that. No, you'll be right. Keep him swinging. Do you want to get in the water? You'll be right. fish oh yes that is a cracker on the fly you beauty oh nice how's that though good fish good fish just pinned on the top of the nose thanks mate on that same little fly been doing all the damage. Somewhere I reckon there is a dead something with maggots coming out of it. Anyway, we'll get this guy off. Another beautiful, beautiful rainbow in the upper Corora. Right down at the mouth in these runs. In the faster, sort of moderate sort of runs. Not too deep of water and these guys are climbing all over it. Thanks mate. Righto guys, that is the end of our morning session here on the Upper Carrera River at the mouth of the Lake Tianau. However you pronounce it, I apologise for any of you Kiwis watching going, bloody hell these Aussies don't know how to talk. Steel's had a bit of a tough morning. Henry's had an okay morning, got how many fish? One. One fish and lost one? Yeah. And the fly came out on top today, I had five bites. Did I have five? Five bites and caught three fish. So the fly coming out on top on that little white maggoty looking imitation. So anyway, good session.